It's Tour Tour Tuesday. Tuesday. (laughs) And we are back from holidays. We are. We We went down to South Carolina and saw the eclipse. Yes. The total eclipse of the heart. heart. It was our 25th wedding anniversary, so that's true. We should have sang that. Happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy, 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 happy anniversary, happy, 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 happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary. And if you know where we got that from, put it in the comments. Put it in the comments. So it was our 25th anniversary. I take Tara to the nicest places, which was a freeway. Yes, we were on the road for like on the 16 road. hours that day. That's right. But um, we went and saw the eclipse in South Carolina. So it was pretty amazing. Um, there is a video on I Love Belleville, a 360 degree video. It's makes you, really cool. Yeah, it makes you feel like that. If you look carefully at the sun, you can see the little disc of the moon in the middle of it. And if you are curious at all, yes, the birds stop chirping. And yes, it uh, the cicadas or crickets or whatever it is like that do come out. And the planets came out and yeah. some of the brightest stars came out. News new on the real estate front now that we're back in town. Well, very, very exciting. We are going to be coming into our fall market. Yes. The last two weeks of August are always a very quiet. We're heading to the East End, by the way. Okay. And um, we are uh, gearing up for just after Labor Day. That's when we're going to start seeing lots more homes come on. So anybody who's a little depressed or saddened because they just haven't seen a whole lot of homes coming on, that will change. Yes. Fall market, September, October, November, and a bit into December will... Uh, will brighten your mood <laughs> and we'll be back to the run go, go, go. yeah i know you have several listings that oh are yeah lined up to that. we usually put them off until after labor day, labor day for the simple reason that hey, everybody's getting their kids ready for school this week anybody who was thinking of listing this week um just because people are getting their kids off to university they're getting their kids ready for school starting next week and and so it's just a busy week for families but- uh, Mark Rashad is thanking us tonight and uh, putting on a little patio party for the Royal LePagers. So yes. thank you, Mark. And uh, yeah, so that'll be fun. We do have a little barbecue. That. We do Absolutely. appreciate that. Shout out. That's right. There was one interesting thing. What? A little feed came across uh, the Facebook, you know, the Facebook. Yeah. And uh, it was a little blurb about the three favorite places to live in Belleville. Oh yeah, the three, the three neighborhoods for millennials. Yes, for millennials. And I thought it was pretty cool. Our neighborhood came up as one of the top three. West Park Village. West Park Village. Yeah, it was East Hill, West Park Village, and what was the last one? So all those clients that I say, and I always disclose that you're going to be my neighbor. Because <laughs> I really do like West Park You want to know, <laughs> You want to know if you're going to be our neighbor. Yeah, I'm friendly. Uh, so anyway, I always disclose that. So anyway, just so you know... I did not steer you wrong. West Park Village, top three places, favorite for millennials. Great for families, that's one of the biggest reasons. Yeah, so West Park Village, um, they're talking about down south of Dundas Street and uh, towards the bay. So that whole neighborhood down in there. So Johnny, you know who you are. And uh, that's one of the, the great neighborhoods down there for millennials. Yes. And then the other one was downtown because of our revitalization and everything and kind of the eclectic feel. And oh, the... I thought it was East Hill. <coughs> no. Downtown, wow. I know. And so they're talking downtown. That is a pretty wide range. Uh, like to I compare know. to compare that wa- those waterfront homes, which are, you know, 600,000 to a million, yeah. you know, and then to go downtown. So they're not, which... But they're not just talking about the townhouses, right? So right. they're talking about the other ones along the Bayshore Walk because they're... I think what's happening is they're thinking of what's going to happen for the future with that. Oh, I see. And as the biggest discussion was, as those homes, uh, they have a lot of older people living in them. So as those retirees come out, you're seeing some of the older homes coming down and newer homes going up. And the developers are starting to buy them and putting newer homes up. So So that's why we're seeing that development down there. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And downtown, downtown, there's very little to buy down there. So yeah. were they thinking just renting? Well, no, they're talking the condos um, that uh, are being developed down there. And um, just the, I mean, it kind of encompasses around downtown, right? right? 
not just downtown and then uh, Front you, Street. And then you have West Park Village, which is not like those two All single family homes, a few condos. Yeah. So yeah. it's it's a really odd to me it was a really odd mix of, of homes that they, they Here's talked about. Here's what it tells you, which is the same in any classification. Millennials, baby boomers, Gen Xers like us. Uh, Generation Y, we don't forget about you. So all of those, it's basically saying they like any style of home, any type, and it's really a matter of fitting yeah. you into the right one. Yeah. <laughs> that is what that told that's, me. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Which is what we say to our clients. True. <laughs> different strokes for here. different folks. Straight. Everybody likes a different type of home. Yeah. So, uh, I think that's probably it. Oh, we do have an open house coming up, 21C Pete's Point Road, that's Saturday right. from 12 till 1. The lovely Linda Schick is doing that for us because we already had uh, uh, prior uh, commitments, Tom and I. So, but we want to make sure we got an open house out for our clients. So. Yeah, and it's yeah. amazing waterfront. Like it's, oh, yes. It has one of the best waterfronts in the area um, for a property. So, if you're looking for waterfront. Beautiful waterfront on the Bay of Quinney. Yeah. Yeah, and it's 10 minutes to Belleville from where it is. It's perfect for retirees if you want a nice, quiet location to retire to. It would also be a great rental property if you want something that's an investment for your future to retire to. Oh, or just if you want to go and live there. There's an above-ground pool, there's a garage, yep. and uh, it's a bunch of wood. So, one cool thing is all the little bags you see in the back I get to deliver today. Yeah, I don't Tomorrow, know if, I don't know if you can see it. It's going to take me a few days. Tara's van <laughs> is full of Tiffany's. Tiffany's. Tiffany's gift bags. We got. Uh, what do you have? Lots like, of closings. Like yeah, six or seven, six or seven that you need to go drop I know, off I there. I need to go deliver. That's exciting. It is exciting. I just have to get a. I have to arrange with my clients to be able to find time to see them. Yeah, I have a feeling it's probably going to go into next week because so far when I've been talking <laughs> to them, they're all busy getting their kids ready. Yeah. Go figure. Yeah. <laughs> But they will need what's in there. Oh yes. So yes. maybe better sooner than sooner than later because yes. Because, just because I won't say what's in there because yeah, don't tell them. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just <laughs> saying that they might enjoy it. They might need it. Ooh. All right. Eight. Tour Tuesday. Out. Out. Out.